please join us. Torah lesson. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas by Yehuda. The question of the week is, how can we merit that Hashem should reveal Himself to us? So, this week's Torah portion, Parshas by Yehuda, where Hashem reveals Himself to Abraham after having circumcised himself and he wasn't feeling well. So there's a famous story with the Rebbe Rashab, the fifth Chabad Rebbe, when he was around four or five years old when he was studying this week's Torah portion. And he reads the way God revealed himself to Abraham. So he went into his grandfather, who was the Chabad Rebbe at that time, Tzema Tzedek, and he's crying. He says, Rebbe, Grandpa, how come God revealed himself to Abraham and to me he didn't reveal himself? So his grandfather responds to him and tells him, Grandson, when a tzaddik like Abraham, at age 99, decides to circumcise himself, isn't he befitting that God should reveal himself to him? So let me ask a simple question. How is that a response to a child, four or five years old, telling him that God revealed himself to who? To Abraham, age 99, when he circumcised himself. What kind of comfort is that? The child wanted God to reveal himself to him. So if you tell him it was Abraham, he was 99, he was a tzaddik, how does it help me? And there he explains that we know, it's brought down in the Medrash, that God wanted to make a dwelling place down here, in this physical world. That means any time we do a mitzvah in this physical world, whether it's a mitzvah in our body, circumcision, or any other physical mitzvah, we are fulfilling God's dream and wish for God to dwell down here. And that's why the verse actually says, Vayera Elav Hashem, God appeared himself to him. It doesn't say Vayera Hashem al Abram, God appeared himself to Abraham. Why doesn't it say he appeared himself to Abraham? Because the Torah was teaching us a very, very important lesson. True, that story he appeared, he appeared to Abraham. But the Torah is teaching us, Vayera Elav, anybody and everyone can be that Elav. Anyone that decides to the make a dwelling place down here in this world, to, by listening to what God wants, respecting our body and only doing things that God wants us to do, and not doing anything God doesn't want us to do, so we're making God's presence felt in this world, we will be befitting for God to reveal himself to us. So to answer the question, how can we merit that God should reveal, reveal himself to us? By doing what God wants, by making a dwelling place for God down in this world, specifically with our physical body, God will reveal himself to each and every one of us. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Arye Leib, Shlomo ben Yosef, and Rachel Baslipa. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. For more information, please see our website, ChabadSWF.org. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson.